Hi guys, it's Renee. How are you? Um, you know, get accustomed to seeing this makeup look. Uh, I might be <laughs> the desire to film has hit me, and so yeah, we're um we're out here producing some content now. Whether or not any of this makes it to my channel. <laughs> that's a different story because it's not that I haven't been filming I just have not been uploading and you know I, I, I'm not quite sure why that is I think you know I, it's um, a contemplation mostly on like how saturated the um, YouTube game has become and whether or not there is a place or a necessity for a voice like mine um, and sometimes I can't, you know, I get into my own head and I can't get out of my own way. So that, um, prevents me from really like putting myself out there. However, there are other times like now where I have been bitten by the bug and I've got some amazing perfumes that I want to share. Um, and I think, yes, of course there is a space for a voice like mine because there's always a space, um, it's not, a, you know, we have to get out of the scarcity mindset, you know, and embrace ourselves and our various talents. My apologies for any noise that you may hear. I'm in a new location on my current assignment. Um, and um, my upstairs neighbors don't know the meaning of stepping quietly or, you know, even just being quiet, period. So let's just move on and talk about my winter drip, boo. <laughs> This is my time to shine, guys. This is my time. Is it heavy? Is it oud? Is it amber? Is it tobacco? This is my time to shine. So, <laughs> I apologize. I get really excited about this sort of thing. Um, we're going to talk about the things that I've been wearing. Uh, I know everybody is on their whole, like, this is what I'm looking forward to wearing for spring. Let me tell you something. I'm in Massachusetts. Spring ain't here. <laughs> It's not here. It's cold. I'm cold. I'm wearing a sweater inside. <laughs> I'm cold, guys. So I'm going to take this opportunity to wear some of the things that I adore um, and that blossom and bloom here in this in this type of weather. I haven't counted. I don't know how much is, how many fragrances I got here. We're just going to talk about it. I'm going to try to be less verbose, which is not a talent of mine. <laughs> but we're going to work it out. All right, moving on. Let's let's talk about I don't even know what to start with. I guess let's start with this one. Baby cat. Boo. Baby cat. Um she is elusive, she is seductive, she is sought after. Uh and for good reason that spicy incense suede and vanilla is just to die for. I understand. I'm not quite sure what YSL's marketing strategy is, <laughs> why they haven't released Baby Cat worldwide, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't think they understand either, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have it. I'm wearing it. I also have uh, Vanna Gloria, which is by Dominique Rupian, I believe, is the perfumer for both of these masterpieces. Uh, so I just sort of wear them interchangeably. Um, mostly I wear Vanna Gloria because you know why? I can acquire it. When I want to buy it again, I know where to get it. <laughs> so Baby Cat, you know, she gets broken out for just um, special occasions when I want to feel bougie, uh, when I want to get on my rich auntie vibe. Um, without the requirement of being rich <laughs> I, uh, I i break out baby cat but she is an icon you know she is the icon all right let's move on this is like in no particular order these are just the things that i pulled out that i have been wearing and have been loving um so a, a note that i never thought that i would really like get heavily into is iris um, I know like I've been loving on Francesca Bianchi for a while and she utilizes heavily in her fragrances um, Oris Butter um, and I have a delightful appreciation for the way she utilizes that ingredient in her fragrances but I never thought that you know that would that appreciation would go across the board to other fragrances with that are predominantly iris because sometimes it can just be a little bit boring <laughs> 
<laughs> sorry um however um oh shucks yeah it'll be in my haul um i picked up um dior dior home le parfum or dior home parfum um impulsively honestly the um sales associate talked me into it while i was in paris um and yeah i don't regret it however it did open up my eyes to um many aspects of uh, uh and the utilization of iris um like i i have carolina herrera's um iris empire but you know that's that that's a whole different utilization of iris i mean she is sexy um but that is also an iris mixed with a cacao um and this iris malacan is another iris mixed with a cacao um and she is beautiful she's pretty quiet um but this is a beautiful um sort of leathery tinge to the iris i think it's just oris butter that's actually in here with um lots of cacao is what i get and some woods um and i actually really appreciate that um this is the second fragrance that i've gotten from this house my first is oud maracuya which i suppose i'll put in a haul <laughs> but yeah um she's been getting heavy wear um for the short time that i've had her I, I do actually have a dent for the very short time that i've had her um i do utilize her primarily as a bedtime skin scent because um it's actually pretty cozy Iris can come across as sort of cold sometimes, um, uh, unapproachable. And uh, I, I do enjoy the way that it is utilized in this fragrance because while there is a coolness um, and aloofness to this fragrance, the warmth of the base notes really sort of draw you in and I appreciate that. And let's talk about other things that I didn't think that I would be on. I'm you know, not here for that type of time. Um, Piano Santal. <laughs> Baby, damn, I didn't realize I had used that much of this fragrance. We're going to put this up. <laughs> I don't know whether or not I should be ashamed of that. I haven't had it that long. Mm. This is um, Piano Santal by Leo Kiss Parfums. Um, I smelled this when I was in Paris. And I. Actually, I smell most of the house of Le Artist um, par Parfum. Um, I wanted this one. I wanted liqueur. I wanted rose trombone. Actually, I I literally like there there was not a fragrance in that lineup that I did not like. There were some now that I preferred more than others. Um, you know, this one was surprising to me. I'm not like a huge fan of sandalwood. Like it's pretty, it's nice, but I, it's not a, a thing that I seek out. Nor was I a huge fan of lactonic fragrances because sometimes, you know, like depending on the weather and your skin chemistry can go kind of sour. Um, and this was really hyped for a while with all the fragrance girlies because Daniel Rollins loved it. And so I, you know, I was for sure like that can't be, that can't be as good as everybody's making it out to be. And I'm happy to say that I was wrong, actually. Um, this goes along, I think, with the hype that was around um, Blanche Bet. Um, it as in my eyes, entirely justified. I mean, the dent speaks for itself. Um, this is a beautiful, milky, warm, spicy, um, sandalwood fragrance i have worn this to work several times it blooms in the cold um people have you know given me hugs just to smell my fragrance um i have been complimented numerous times on this um the folks have made their appreciation of this scent known um and the way it interacts with my body chemistry and i love it which is always helpful so I, I I could not be more delighted, um, and you know I'm not, I'm not sorry that I'm late to the game on it because I took my sweet time and I'm you know I'm I, I found it when I was meant to find it. Um, but I will say that the hype around that fragrance that it received at the time was entirely justified. We're gonna skip um, we're gonna skip the next fragrance, which is from that house. But we're gonna talk about the things that I found in Paris that I was like, I must have you. I must have you. 
and that is this this is gladiator oud by electimus london now um most of the fragrances that i indulge in are um primarily like unisex in nature um I'm not gonna say that about this. <laughs> this is a heavy masculine leaning fragrance. I, I can't lie to y'all. This is so mask, um, but it's gorgeous. It is a little bit, I don't wanna use skanky because honestly, I don't think it's the oud that's actually doing that. I think it's the heavy cumin <laughs> that is in your face that is making this a little bit pungent a little mm, aromatic that's another really nice word right that has you know you could take it however you'd like um but pungent has like uh, a, a sort of a negative connotation right um it, 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 something unpleasant and, and this is not that the oud is is beautiful it is um woody uh it is smooth there's a touch um, medicinal like there's like a little bit herbaceous um, but it is so blended into the ambery base and then the cumin that is very heavy and very present but it's done in such a way that you like you don't smell like body odor you know this is just gorgeous I smelled it at Javoy because um, I was present for um, uh, Sebastian, the perfume guy, was doing an event, um, and I had gone to Javoy the day prior, and I was smelling a bunch of things, walking around, just having a, myself a grand old time, um, and one of the sales associates came over to me later, and we got to talking about, um, surprisingly enough, some Amor fragrances, um, and, you know, and uh, Oman Luxury. And she, uh, you know, she's like, well, you seem to really love perfume. You should come back the, tomorrow, the next day, um, because um, they were having an event there. And so I came back and, you know, Sebastian was there um, having an event and it was amazing. And one of the fragrances we smelled was this and I loved it. Um, and once I saw it, um, this side and I was off of mind to buy it. I made sure I had it and I have worn it several times. Um, I've worn it by itself. I've worn it mixed with um, some amber fragrances as well as some like pure vanilla fragrances just to um, amplify the sweetness in the base um, to just make it a little bit more approachable um, for others, not necessarily for me, for others. Um, but also like I wear it to work and uh, you know, sometimes I just want it to be a little bit easier, more digestible when I wear it to work. So I just, you know, amplify the sweetness. By the way, um, I was having a mimosa. However, this now currently is um, my Appleton Reserve uh, rum. Or no, actually, I think it's my Appleton 8 here. That's in here. Um, Jamaican rum, dark rum. I love it. Um, with just uh, a small amount of elderflower because I love elderflower. I love all things elderflower. Um, and then there is a hint of lemon, just a little bit, um, and a elderflower um, soda, elderflower lemonade soda. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna go to bed shortly after I, I'm gonna wipe this off and go to bed after I, you know, finish drinking that, filming these videos, putting these perfumes away. But yeah, so let's move on um, to, so now that we've done those things, actually there are a couple more that, <laughs> that I've been rocking that I just, I forgot to bring up here, but we're not gonna talk about it um, because I did, acquire some more of the fragrances that I smelled while I was in Javoy, but I, I guess I'll put it in a haul or something. Let's move on to um, the winter drip. Where is Anton Suave? I, <laughs> I have um, Santral, Osta, uh, Santal Austral by um, Mathieu Premier, but I don't have Ensemble Suave, which is the one that I primarily wanted. Yeah, um, we, we're we having a good time with this. Uh, she gets sprayed liberally, liberally, my goodness. Um, she does not scream, she does not shout, but people notice her. 
this is another um sort of uh milky lactonic sandalwood um that is a little spicy at the top but just like ends up being this smooth creamy sandalwood on me um folks love it um i love it it's very helpful sometimes i mix the two of these together pow um Piano Santal and Santal Astral, they go really well together because they're the same type of sandalwood um, in the creamy, lactonic, um, spicy way. This is a little spicier than this one, um, but they play well together. And so sometimes I mix this, but a lot of times um, I wear Santal Astral to bed, actually, because it is very smoothing, smoothing, very soothing, um, very calming. Uh, it doesn't overwhelm the senses while still making its presence known, and I appreciate that. All right, um, let's speed this up a little bit. We're taking too long. Uh, let's, I only have this one, so we'll talk about it. This is Ramon Monigal. Um, this is a part of his Don't Touch My Oud collection, and this is Soul of Oud. Um, these so there are four of them in the collection um the two that i don't have and that i, I don't particularly want is um oud on fire i am hit or miss with smoky fragrances and ocean oud i think it is um yeah ocean oud i think is the next one so i have soul of oud and i have alhambra oud which is like literally one of the most gorgeous and best oud rose fragrances look like you won't smell nothing until you smell that if you're if you think you're tired of oud and roses you, you haven't smelled a thing until you smell that i need you to calm down and try it um but yeah <laughs> sorry i got a little passionate but it was it's literally one of my favorite oud and rose combos um the next right up there with um the uncompromising mr sohan um a gorgeous 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 Una Rose and actually there's another one that's coming up that is like top of the list for me um for Una Rose uh, but yeah let's talk about this one um this is a chocolatey chocolatey oud um and it is gorgeous it's also a little bit boozy it smells like almost like cognac or whiskey one of those uh type of um spirits uh and like a gorgeous like smooth oud and um more cacao than chocolate but lovely just lovely it doesn't scream it doesn't shout um i think it's fair i think <laughs> it's fairly inoffensive um though i do wear it um mostly like for like intimate dinners or uh to go to bed because um I don't think it lasts as long as you know it's not enough for me to go to to go to work right my shifts are like 12 and a half 13 14 hours it's not it doesn't last that long um so i don't wear it to work but if it did last that long i would because i i adore it but we'll talk about an oud that i do wear to work and that is um vanilla oud by vertus parfums um, I think it's Vert Vertus um, Paris um, Vanilla Oud. She is gorgeous. She is Johnny come lately to the party. But this lightly spiced warm vanilla with Oud at the base, which is honestly just like this sort of like woods with like a slightly mentholated, like slightly green, part to it but it's mostly just a warm spicy vanilla and oud fragrance and it lasts and lasts and lasts till the sun comes home um and it smells amazing amazing we're out in these vanilla streets smelling gorgeous boo gorgeous i listen i know that it's mostly the men on youtube talking about this um it's actually a lot of men talking about the house of virtues um parfums um i i don't know why because they have several amazing offerings and several of them are entirely unisex and or outright feminine leaning i mean night dose silhouette 1001 um those are like the outright feminine leaning ones that i can think of off the top of my head there's amber elixir um vanilla oud bengal um chucks there's another one it's escaping me. Those are the ones that I'm just telling you what's on my list, actually. <laughs> um, 
yeah those are the ones that i that i enjoy that are either feminine or leaning or or unisex entirely um and vanilla oud is unisex entirely and damn sexy damn sexy like i call this a put your face in my neck type of fragrance um what is what is there not to like in the winter like when you smell like this nothing let me let me answer the question nothing there's nothing not to like okay all right, let's hurry this up a little bit more. <laughs> let's move on. All right, let's talk about some ambers. Um, actually, let's go to boozy fragrances. Let's keep on with the boozy fragrances. This is Lea, um, Lea Kiss Parfums, and this is Liquor BPM. Baby, babes, babes, let's talk about it. Let me, let me tell you something. Let me put you on game, okay? So the first day I got this, I um, I bought this from Oswald, New York. Um, their storefront closed out of New York, but um, they have their online business is booming. And so I bought this because what is not to like about a warm, spicy, boozy fragrance in the winter? Nothing. There is nothing not to like. So I bought this. It's a solid bottle, so you can't really see how far down it is, but she's getting somewhere. Um, she is her. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. I mixed this with, I have a solid perfume of um, Wajan from Alexandria Fragrances. It's called Apple Crop. And so I mixed that with um, my body oil, my baby oil for my skin during the winter. And then I sprayed this on top. When I tell you, when I tell you, the people were following me around. Somebody had me write down the name to the fragrance. Another person went on the website and bought it in front of me. <laughs> I was like, I'm happy to help. <laughs> I am happy to help. Listen to, listen to me. Listen to me. You're going to smell good. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not cool. <laughs> But I just love it so much. You, it, it smells so good. It is boozy. It is ambery. It is woody. It's got like this dried fruit element to it. Like I'm about it. I love it. And speaking of um, speaking of good things that um, as woody, boozy, and dried fruits, this is Smoky Jazz by um, Primera Parfums Kuwait. I was. How did I, I don't know, I was stalking Max Aroma and came across this brand and I got increasingly curious. And then there is a gentleman, Marcel, I think is his name on YouTube who talks about them. Um, and then Cuba, Cuba knows. <laughs> C to the U to the B to the A. <laughs> um, he was talking about them and so i went and i checked it out um to be fair like most of these are unisex towards masculine leaning perfumes um i don't think that there is a single feminine one there um but this is firmly unisex smoky jazz um this smoke upfront present however it is boozy it is fruity it is woody um it lasts forever uh, and when you when it settles down into that beautiful amber base of it, like and and still with the booziness, still with the woodiness, still with the dried, um, like almost like stewed fruits, my God, my guy, she is she is her, okay, she is her, okay. But the next one, the next one, let me put you on game. When I tell you, when I put this on, you better talk to me nice. <laughs> This is called Lion Oud. Listen, talk to me nice, okay? Talk to me nice. Um, this is a beautiful oud. And it, it smells like there's real oud in here too. Um, there's a light leathery smokiness that is at the top of it. There is um, a hint of cacao um the oud is just a smooth woodiness there is no herbaceousness there's no greenness there is no mentholation um or camphorous nature to it it's just like a beautiful woody smooth 
oud um and it's just gorgeous and you know add the amber base add the uh the leather like the hint of leather there's a slight hint of smokiness to the leather um and the chocolate it is gorgeous it is literally gorgeous um i've only worn it a couple of times i think two times and both times i've worn it the folks have been pleased um you know i've just walked by and people have just been like what are you wearing i need to know i need to know and um yeah, the, the second time I got asked was by um, a young lady and she was just like, I, I need to know what you're wearing. And so I told her what it was and directed her to where to purchase. Um, but yeah, it, it, it the folks the folks love it and I love it. More importantly, there's another one that I have by them that like is at my bedside. I am ashamed to show you the level of that bottle. Ashamed, ashamed. Actually, I may, I may show it in the haul video. Like, cause like when I tell you half the bottle is gone, half the bottle is gone. Once the girlies find out, oh, here is Aunt Sansa. Uh, once the girlies find out about that one, you know, for all the vanilla lovers out there, once the girlies find out about that, let me tell you something. Max Rome is gonna have a hard time keeping it in the stock. All right, on Sans Swap. <laughs> I don't know how I missed it. Um, because it was actually I do know how it was hiding amongst a bunch of bottles here. Um, what we have left. Um I don't know what to say about Ansan Swap that has not already been said. Um the, the everybody in Fred Fredcom was a gaga when this first drop by Mattia premiered. It was their most popular fragrance at the time. Again, Johnny come lately to the party. That's on me, bro. <laughs> because I didn't want to order it from overseas, <laughs> so I needed to wait until it came to the U.S. Um, but this peppery, spicy, um, ambery uh, incense fragrance, this is incense. Um, I mean, it says ensemble, suave. Smooth incense is literally what that translates to. He had never lied either. Um, the uh, there is a lemony pepperiness to the frankincense that is in here. However, like it is offset by this beautiful amber accord of which the frankincense is a part. Um, and I just, I just love this. Um, I am hashtag team overspray. When I tell you, please don't overspray this. Please don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Just don't. <laughs> it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Don't overspray it. You're gonna choke out yourself and everybody else. Don't do it. There is nothing shy, quiet, or retiring about Anson Suave. She kicks in the door and announces herself. Don't overspray this. I don't know also that I would ever need another bottle. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Do you see this very small dent in here? I don't do more than three or four sprays. I will never finish this bottle. <laughs> I would need never buy another one because I don't know when. If I'm spraying only three or four times and that's more than enough to take me through my 13, 14 hour shift and everybody smells you until you until I'm done, I, I will never run out. All right, moving on. Let's talk about another thing I will never run out of. This is um, Fiore del Ambra by uh, Perfumum Roma. Now, I also have Ambra Aurea, which is my favorite, um, but I don't have that here with me. Um, that's in storage. So um, we're gonna go with Perfume um, Fiore de Ambra by Perfume Roma. This is a beautiful, beautiful floral amber, but there is opium flower in here. And I gotta tell you, you have to like floral fragrances. Um, this is gorgeous. The Amber Accord that is in here, is one of the smoothest I have ever smelled. I'm very warm and inviting without being overly sweet. However, the thing that may be a little off-putting for some folks is the opium flower that's in here. Um, it is very floral and it is quite heavy. Um, so this is one of those ones where I do also have to be careful with the number sprays because it gives me a headache. 
um and it can make me a little bit nauseous if i overspray because of like the floral nature of the opium flower however this is gorgeous it is beautiful some folks i think because of the floral nature might find it a little bit dated um i i am not one of those people i enjoy it i adore it um mm -mm. uh actually this is um in terms of some of the composition like the a floral amber i also have um um mythique by um matria parfume et cantier and um that is another one of my favorites that i just didn't pull out this time because i'm like i've talked about her on my channel before um and i thought i would give you something new moving on moving on so let's um next Nefs, Nishane Nefs. What is there to say about her that has not already been said by everybody else? I don't know where Nishane thought they got off making a fragrance this good. Shame on them. Shame on them. <laughs> this is a gorgeous fragrance. I um, I don't know how anybody doesn't love this. Um, it is warm, spicy, ambery, fruity, um, honeyed. Oh. The, there is like nothing offensive here everything is harmonious well blended long lasting um you have to like honey though i will say uh i know like this this perfume has a whole list of notes right uh and most of those are probably just accords that just you know blend together the honey is very prevalent on my skin um and my skin wears honey well but if you are a person that honey turns a little bit animalic, a little bit sour, maybe bitter, maybe overwhelming, you know, you might want to you might want to go easy on this um, because the honey is very prevalent. However, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. This is also another one where please don't overspray. Please don't. Uh, Michonne is giving you power. It's giving you sophistication. You don't need it doesn't need to scream baby it doesn't need it okay it, it it speaks for itself and it speaks well she's eloquent she's articulate you know you don't need to scream all right so let's we're almost towards the end all right let's talk about um a brief deviation so sometimes in the middle of the winter, I will yearn for something tropical because um, I have really bad seasonal affective disorder and I need something to jazz me up. Um, right now it's my antidepressants. <laughs> um, and occasionally it will be my fragrances. Um, and so I like to sometimes like break out some tropical fragrances just to remind me of you know the vacation that's coming up or better times that are ahead uh and in that vein we bring you um Morekai absolute out eau de parfum and this is by patek maison now this is a middle eastern fragrance um there are several others in this line um passion is another one that i want um, but this is the absolute uh she is a fruity pineapple heavy leather fragrance and I love her. I love her. Um, sometimes the pineapple is sweet, tart, juicy. Um, and this is a nut. This is an oil. Um, Jesus. Oh, shucks. Um, it's all in Arabic and the English portions have been worn off because the oil spilt. So sorry. <laughs> I can't tell you. Um, but the primary facet that you get from this is, um, is a fruity pineapple. And so I put this on my pulse points. Um, listen, when I want to stomp on people's necks, when I want to announce my presence, when I want to let y'all know that I ain't come here to play with you, um, I wear the oil and then I wear Absolute by Patek Maison. Uh, it also helps to, you know, bring me to happier, sunnier, tropical climes uh, in my head, which is what counts. All right, so speaking of um, bright floral fragrances, um, that are a punch in the face we move on to stallion leather by carolina herrera this is from the confidentials collection um she is gorgeous but you have to love a leather you have to love a leather so this is a different leather than this leather this leather 
is more of a this seems like a little bit more like worn in you know it's a little bit smoother um but it's more of like also a black leather this very much is like a brown cognac leather you know like the color of the bottle this is a cognac leather but this is a new car a new jacket you know this is a new leather jacket type of feel and you know when you put it on and you feel sexy or you sink into that seat and it hugs to the confines of your body and you're just like mm, i'm i am that i am that person i am that person that that's what this is um there are a little bit of florals in the top of it too but like i don't get distinct types of flowers it's more of a mash that just says like floral um flowers are here uh and it serves to soften the leather and then there is a hint of like ashiness to me um which is probably the lab denim that's in the base um and then it dries down into like a beautiful um like ambery leather fragrance uh and she lasts forever and i love her I will say that the Confidential Collection from Carolina Herrera has really just been like, I got a hold of you, got a hold of you. Um, so let's talk about like two last things, three last things actually. Um, two of them are from the same brand. This is by Mi Beso. Um, And one of these I like and one of these I love. Um, and it's not who I thought it would be. Uh, so this is Amber B. Um, I'm sorry, Amberique. Uh, from Ms. Bissell. Gorgeous packaging. Um, I kept the box, which I usually don't because it's gorgeous. Uh, and this is also gorgeous packaging. However, like I'm still, I still just like the, the juice. I'm working on whether or not I will actually even keep this. Because while I love amber fragrances, um, and this is a very pretty, if, if simple, amber fragrance, um, it's it doesn't shine in comparison to the other also like the cumin that is in here i feel like a walking curry pot and i am not a person that typically objects to cumin you know cumin plays well on my skin um it smells somewhat just like sexy um and slightly sweaty rather than like curry or body odor um however this is like overwhelmingly cumin and um like there are people who I've read on Fragrantica that just get the ambery aspects of this. And I just, it's cumin, it's cumin, it's cumin. It's cumin from the, as the day is long, um, which is not what I wanted it to be. And so I don't object to it personally, um, but it's not like, I just like it, you know, I don't love it. And I, there, there's not an amber fragrance that I don't love because amber is one of my favorite accords. So currently I don't wear it by itself. I use it to like, um, prop up other fragrances because I just want to use it and get rid of it um, but I probably will not repurchase this it goes really well with gladiator oud actually because of the cumin that's there and the amberiness of the base of that these two play well together I also wear it with this one which is called oud hypnotic and this I love baby this is not your grandmama's oud of rose fragrance like this she is sexy she is her um, sexy sexy there is like i i i i, I didn't look up the notes <laughs> but there seems to be like what it seems like red berries up front the rose also seems to be like a bright beautiful red rose um but it, that is fruity but not sweet and the oud is just like smooth like butter baby smooth um and there's an amber nature to the base like this is gorgeous gorgeous now this i would repurchase if i ever ran out of this this my you can get my money any day all day this is up there with my top oud of rose fragrances like this i haven't had her long but i love her and then last and certainly least no like slides that's not how that goes last but not least <laughs> is one of my favorite amber fragrances that I have newly acquired and this is Doza by Narcotica. Um, yes, we do have a dent in here because baby, she gets a lot of wear. Um, this is actually a firmly unisex to slightly masculine leaning. 
uh, amber fragrance. Um, she's dry, uh, she is warm, she is spicy, she is a little bit um, tobacco ashy, uh, but um, lots of booze, lots of booze, but heavy on the spice. Uh, gorgeous. <laughs> this she's guys gorgeous um i smelled narcotica narcotica um i smelled dolce diablo by narcotica and i smelled doja by narcotica at the same time this is what i went with um the rest of them i can't i can't i can't mess with it can't mess with none of them um they have one called happy dust i think that's coming out i need to smell it um and then i do have um narco oasis as well uh which is a gorgeous fragrance gorgeous it's just not here um maybe i'll put it in the hall all right but darlings i shall leave you because this video has been long enough but those were a part of my winter drip mm -mm -mm. we out here smelling fabulous lovies fabulous <laughs> i hope you're enjoying your winter and looking forward to spring we'll talk soon bye